Today, I've got some seriously heart-wrenching news about Sheikh Hamdan's love life that will leave you in awe. But before we jump in, make sure to turn on subtitles in your preferred language, click the link, and select captions to have the story unfold right before your eyes, in a language you understand best. Trust me, it'll make everything more intense and relatable. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with my previous videos, you might already know that Sheikh Hamdan pleaded with his second wife to come back to him through a powerful poem. If you haven't seen it yet, click here to watch the emotional plea. Sadly, his second wife turned down his final request, crushing him completely. In his next poem, Sheikh Hamdan dropped the bombshell line, his kingdom severs in front of you. Now hold on tight, here, his, refers to Sheikh Mohammed, representing his kingdom, while you, stands for Sheikh Hamdan's second wife. You won't believe what happened next. Sheikh Hamdan's sister, Sheikha Sheikha bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, also tried to persuade his second wife to return to Dubai, but she refused. Get the full scoop by watching this video here. Despite all the efforts to patch things up, the relationship couldn't be salvaged. Sheikh Hamdan's heart is now shattered, especially over losing his second wife. Their once beautiful love story has come crashing down. Now, let's talk dates. On that fateful day, October 16, 2022, Sheikh Hamdan's second wife asked for a divorce, putting an end to their relationship for good. It was a turning point, and things took a tragic twist on October 15. However, the official divorce didn't happen until the next day, October 16, 2022. And guess what? On October 17, Sheikh Hamdan surprised everyone with yet another mysterious poem. Only those closest to him could truly understand it. But don't worry, I've cracked the code, and you can find the meaning in this video. Don't miss out, let's dive into the poem's meaning. In the first line, Sheikh Hamdan sadly declares, Today, your right is over, over the falcon and her net. This basically means that he accepts the end of his claim over his second wife and their relationship. The next line, Oh bird, oh bird, I fell in you, shows just how deeply he loved her. And when he says, my strength, the sultan of my heart, he's paying tribute to Sheikh Mohammed, his father, who holds a special place in his heart. Finally, the last line, his kingdom severs in front of you, highlights the irreversible separation between Sheikh Hamdan's second wife and Sheikh Mohammed's kingdom. Now, let's dig into the reasons behind this painful breakup. Sheikh Hamdan's second wife had certain conditions for their relationship, but he couldn't meet them. At the same time, Sheikh Hamdan had his own requirements for her return to Dubai. These details come from reliable sources and shed light on the main factors that led to their split. Let's talk about Sheikh Hamdan and his second wife's children. Sheikha Sheikha bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Sheikh Hamdan's sister, will be taking care of them. Now, as part of the Islamic royal family, Sheikh Hamdan has more rights when it comes to Sheikha and Rashid. I know it might sound a bit unfair, but here's the thing. Sheikh Hamdan is a kind-hearted person, and he will definitely make sure that his second wife gets to visit her children. This way, everyone's needs are taken care of, and it's a fair arrangement. Okay, now on to some exciting stuff. These recent revelations have given me loads of information, and in my next video, I'm going to uncover all the reasons behind Sheikh Hamdan and his second wife's separation. So make sure to stay tuned to my channel, because I'll be revealing the truth bit by bit day after day. Trust me, you'll gain some valuable insights that will help you understand this whole complicated story. If you're enjoying my videos and finding them captivating, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon below. That way, you'll never miss any of my future content. Your support means the world to me, and I truly appreciate it. Thank you for joining me on this thrilling journey, and remember, the truth always finds its way into the light. This year has been an awesome one for Sheikh Hamdan, the Crown Prince of Dubai. And as he turns 41, we're celebrating his birthday by checking you all the cool stuff that happened in his life this year. From welcoming his new baby Muhammad to doing adventurous things like climbing a big rock at Yosemite, Sheikh Hamdan had a super exciting year. We'll also see how he celebrated Eid, had a fun family vacation in Mauritius, and won a cool horse race in Dubai. Baby Muhammad's arrival. Back in February, something super cool happened for Sheikh Hamdan. He became 
became a dad again. His third child, baby Muhammad, was born, and it was a big deal. The whole royal family was really happy, and Sheikh Hamdan shared sweet moments on social media so everyone could share in the joy. The baby, Muhammad, is like the newest little star in the royal family, bringing lots of smiles to everyone in Dubai. It's a special moment that added even more love and happiness to Sheikh Hamdan's awesome year. Join us as we cheer for the cute and heartwarming arrival of baby Muhammad. Eid celebrations. This year, Sheikh Hamdan had a really awesome time celebrating Eid with his family and His Highness Sheikh Muhammad. They shared happy moments and it made everyone feel warm and united during the special celebration. Sheikh Hamdan loves being close to the community, so he made sure to spread joy and togetherness during Eid. They even shared pictures and videos on social media so everyone could see how much fun they had. It's a beautiful reminder that special times like Eid are all about family and friends. Join us as we look back at the heartwarming Eid celebrations that made Sheikh Hamdan's year even more fantastic. Adventure at Yosemite Sheikh Hamdan had a really cool adventure this year at Yosemite. He climbed this big rock called the Half Dome, and it was super exciting. Sheikh Hamdan loves exploring, and he showed everyone the amazing views and his brave climb on social media. Yosemite is a super pretty place, with lots of nature, and Sheikh Hamdan's adventure there was like a big, daring journey. Join us as we enjoy the fun of Sheikh Hamdan climbing the Half Dome. It's a moment that shows how much he loves thrilling and adventurous things throughout the year. Mauritius Getaway This year, Sheikh Hamdan had an awesome family vacation in Mauritius. It's a really pretty place with beautiful beaches and greenery. Sheikh Hamdan and his family explored the island, having a great time and making cool memories. They shared pictures of their vacation on social media so everyone could could see the fun they were having. It was like a break from Sheikh Hamdan's busy life, full of relaxation and exciting adventures. Dubai Endurance Cup Triumph This year, Sheikh Hamdan won a big horse race called the Dubai Endurance Cup. He really loves horse racing, and this victory showed how good he is at it. The Dubai Endurance Cup is a super important race, and Sheikh Hamdan's win made not just his family happy, but also a lot of other people. It's like a big celebration of his skills in horse racing, a special moment that proves how dead dedicated and successful he is in the world of horse racing. Yorkshire Tradition Every year, Sheikh Hamdan keeps a special tradition alive by going on a family trip to Yorkshire. It's not just a regular vacation, it's a time for Sheikh Hamdan and his family to be together, relax, and enjoy the beautiful sights of Yorkshire. This place has awesome landscapes and a lot of history. Sheikh Hamdan shared pictures from the trip on social media, showing everyone how much fun they had and how important family traditions are. We've had a blast looking back at Sheikh Hamdan's awesome year. Turning 41 brought him lots of happy moments, like the arrival of baby Muhammad and climbing a big rock in Yosemite, celebrating Eid, the family vacation in Mauritius, winning the Dubai Endurance Cup, and the Yorkshire trip showed us how much Sheikh Hamdan loves family, adventure, and horse racing. Through social media, he shared all these cool moments with everyone. Cheers to Sheikh Hamdan's 41st year. It's been a fantastic journey filled with love, tradition, and success, and we can't wait to see what's next. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Did you know that Sheikh Hamdan, the Prince of Dubai, wrote a love poem that has captured the hearts of millions? In this video, we'll explore the story behind this beautiful poem and uncover the secrets of Sheikh Hamdan's fascinating life. If you're curious to learn more, keep watching and join me on a journey of discovery. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, also known as Faza, is the crown prince of Dubai and the second eldest son of the current ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Born on November 14, 1982, Sheikh Hamdan is a graduate of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom and holds a degree in government from the London School of Economics. Sheikh Hamdan is known for his love of sports and adventure and he has participated in various competitions and events including horse riding, falconry, and skydiving. He is also an accomplished poet and has published several collections of his work, including Poems from Dubai and The Caravan of Love. As the Crown Prince of Dubai, Sheikh Hamdan plays an important role in the government and society of the United Arab Emirates. He is involved in various initiatives and projects aimed at promoting education, innovation, and sustainability and he has been recognized for his contributions to these fields. Sheikh Hamdan's love poem, which was written on February 4, 2023, has captured the hearts of millions around the world. The poem,
which is titled To the One I Love, expresses Sheikh Hamdan's deep feelings for his wife and the love that they share. The poem is written in Arabic and has been translated into several languages, including English. It is a beautiful and heartfelt tribute to Sheikh Hamdan's wife, and it has resonated with many people who have experienced the power of love. In the poem, Sheikh Hamdan uses vivid imagery and powerful metaphors to convey his emotions. He compares his love to the sun and the moon, and he describes his wife as the light of his life and the queen of his heart. The poem is a testament to the strength and beauty of love, and it has touched the hearts of people all over the world. Sheikh Hamdan's poetry is a reflection of his personal life and emotions, and it provides a unique insight into his personality and character. His love poem is a beautiful and inspiring work of art, and it has become a symbol of the power of love and the importance of expressing our emotions. The story behind Sheikh Hamdan's love poem is a beautiful and romantic one. Sheikh Hamdan wrote the poem on February 4, 2023, as a tribute to his wife, Sheikha Sheikha, bint Said bin Thani al Maktoum, on the occasion of their wedding anniversary. The poem is a reflection of the deep love and affection that Sheikh Hamdan has for his wife, and it is a testament to the strength and beauty of their relationship. The couple has been married since May 15, 2019, and they have been together for many years before that, Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikha. Sheikha have a strong bond that is based on mutual respect, trust, and love. They share a passion for adventure and exploration, and they have traveled to many different parts of the world together. The love poem that Sheikh Hamdan wrote is a beautiful expression of the couple's love and devotion to each other. It is a reminder that love is a powerful force that can overcome any obstacle and bring people together in a deep and meaningful way. In conclusion, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum is a remarkable figure who has made significant contributions to the UAE and the world. He is a visionary leader, a skilled athlete, and a passionate philanthropist who has dedicated his life to making a positive impact on the world. In this video we will be discussing the latest news and updates on Sheikh Hamdan, his family and his wife. This video covers everything that happened before Sheikh Hamdan flew to London for the second time on September 12, 2023. Sheikh Hamdan is a well-known figure in the UAE and beyond and his family is highly respected and admired. We will be sharing true public information about their latest updates and events so you can stay informed and up to date. One of the latest updates on Sheikh Hamdan is that he flew to London for the second time on September 12, 2023. It is not clear why he traveled to London, but it is believed that he may have gone there for business or personal reasons. Sheikh Hamdan is known for his love of travel and adventure, and he often shares his experiences on social media. Another update on Sheikh Hamdan is that he has been actively involved in various charitable activities. He has donated large sums of money to various organizations and has also participated in several charity events. Sheikh Hamdan is known for his philanthropic work and is highly respected for his contributions to society. In addition to his philanthropic work, Sheikh Hamdan is also known for his love of horses. He is an accomplished equestrian and has won several awards for his horsemanship. Recently, he has been seen participating in various horse racing events and has been actively promoting the sport. Sheikh Hamdan is a prominent member of the royal family of Dubai. He is known for his love of adventure and his passion for horses. Sheikh Hamdan is married to Sheikha, Sheikha bin Said bin Thani al Maktoum, who is also a member of the royal family of Dubai. Sheikha Sheikha is known for her philanthropic work and her love of horses. Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikha Sheikha have several children together, although specific information about their children is not publicly available. However, it is known that Sheikh Hamdan is a devoted father and is actively involved in his children's lives. In addition to his immediate family, Sheikh Hamdan comes from a large and influential family. His father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum, is the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE, and his mother, Sheikha Hind bint Maktoum bin Juma al Maktoum, is the First Lady of Dubai. 
Sheikh Hamdan has several siblings, including Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who is the deputy ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Sheikh bin Said bin Thani. Al Maktoum is the wife of Sheikh Hamdan, a prominent member of the royal family of Dubai, Sheikha. Sheikha is also a member of the royal family of Dubai and is known for her philanthropic work and her love of horses. Sheikha Sheikha is a passionate equestrian and has participated in various horse racing events. She is also known for her love of animals and has been involved in several animal welfare initiatives. Sheikha. Sheikha is a devoted wife and mother. Although specific information about her children is not publicly available, it is known that she is a loving and caring mother who is actively involved in her children's lives. In addition to her philanthropic work and her love of horses, Sheikha Sheikha is also known for her fashion sense. She is often seen wearing traditional Emirati clothing, which she accessorizes with modern and stylish pieces. In conclusion, Sheikh Hamdan and his family are prominent members of the royal family of Dubai. Sheikh Hamdan is known for his love of adventure and his passion for horses, while his wife Sheikha Sheikha bint Said bin Thani Al Maktoum is known for her philanthropic work and her love of horses. Although specific information about their children is not publicly available, it is known that Sheikh Hamdan is a devoted father who is actively involved in his children's lives. In addition to his immediate family, Sheikh Hamdan comes from a large and influential family with his father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, serving as the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE. Overall, Sheikh Hamdan and his family are admired and respected by many in the UAE and around the world. They are known for their contributions to society, their philanthropic work, and their love of horses. As members of the Royal Family of Dubai, they hold an important position in the country's culture and history. In this video, we will see Sheikh Hamdan poetry. Enjoy. Accept the love's feeling from the one who is passionate about you, you gentle person with soft skin. If you want me to reply to you to what you told me, I will tell you a secret and I will forgive you if you write it down for others to see. Longing in Dubai is just like longing in London. It has that passion which fills people's hearts. Learn and stay open-minded and civilized, but know when to respond. To put an end to an emotional question, I will tell you something that will give you the answer to your love. Longing in the sixth month. June is different from longing in the seventh and the ninth and the ten, between you and me. The bird of love is surrounding you like a snare, you who hide feelings inside you and on the longest ribs of the chest of the one who weeps and wants you the heart is full and will be cunning. If you deny that your sensitive heart is anxiously longing for me and ask the heart, your heart will say, don't deny it. Thank you for the smile that you gave me that burns in the deep hollow of my body, heart. As for the abandonment and rejection, I am not thankful to you for that. The daughters of Adam and Eve from Anud al-Nuf, deer's eyes from the highest clouds on a mountain, and the one who showed her beauty is intoxicating compared to what she possess from descriptions. Compare it to what you have between you and me. Frankly, there is something between us that is not comparable. You bring me an expression that calls for good and give me an eye that forbids me from evil, al -Shuf. Look, and if I ask you, you say that love is conspiring, cunning. Hit and run is not familiar for a shiki, your lover. And how can you be good at fleeing or fighting, evading, escaping? Faza, the dear poem, thanks to God for you, who are considered the symbol of beauty in Dubai. You are not ordinary. Some people said you look like a deer, and others said your ways are that of a deer, the way you stand, the way you move, and the way you behave. After hearing their opinions, I wanted to give you my own explanation. Either your father was a deer, and you got your beautiful traits from him, or your father was indiscreet with a deer in his foolishness of youth. Whichever the case is, how lucky is the man who tempted and attracted you to be in contact with him. Impression. Inside ourselves, we don't know our purpose. 
the absence of our beloveds leave an impression in our hearts. Life's madness makes us sometimes wish that we had a soul without a body. The one who awaits raindrops from the clouds is affected by his emotions and feelings. The view itself makes the one who looks at her smile. God has given her everything beautiful. If you wanted to draw her lips, you would need a professional painter or take a drawing class yourself. Her full bosom is reflected in her mirror, but her waist is slim. If I mentioned her name, it would increase the passion, but my love is enough without saying her name. She is more beautiful than life and its pleasures. Do I need to swear by it or is enough?